My name is Sarah Nassab and I'm an applied math student. I'm a sixth year working with Pascal Guerreau and I am looking at particle laden flows. I'm Paul Wentz. I am a first year PhD student in the Department of Applied Mathematics. I just finished actually my master's degree in this, this department um, and now I just joined a, a laboratory, um, the Hybrid Systems Lab with Ricardo San Felice and I, there I'll be studying hybrid dynamical systems on Riemannian manifolds. My name is Bethany Johnson. I'm a fourth year PhD student in the Applied Math Department. I'm working with Steve Munch and Marcella Gomez and we're working on data-driven methods to predict nonlinear ecological dynamics. My name's Jacob Noonwade. I'm a uh, fifth year PhD student in Applied Math and I work with Nick Brummel studying fluid dynamics and magnetohydrodynamics and in particular working on numerical simulations of nonlinear dynamos. So what I like about applied mathematics is that it's broadly applicable and there's a lot of opportunities to work with different fields. Right now my particular interest is in applications to ecology, but I know that the skills that I'm learning can be taken over to another application. You get to use computing resources to solve um, physical phenomena. I think one of the main advantages of a smaller department is that you get to know your colleagues pretty well, which then makes it easier to collaborate on things, trust the other person, and just have a closer working relationship than compared to a bigger department. Students are very tight-knit and can develop relationships and help each other out on problems. Since it's uh, only a couple dozen uh, grad students, all the faculty know us and we know all the faculty. Applied math classes are really valuable. You end up using at least one thing from every class that you take here. Um, some end up being more relevant to your research than others, but in general I like that they kind of give you a set of skills that you can go and take out to apply to many different problems. The applied math classes are taught by different professors in different fields, so you get a different perspective for each class, which is really interesting. And one thing that I really liked about the classes is that they spanned a lot of the subjects uh, pertaining to applied math and you have the programming element, theoretical, analytical side. So that was really useful for my first year. The student life here is pretty nice. Uh, there are a lot of things to do. So every week we have our graduate student social events and then there are some bigger university-wide graduate student events, so there's always a chance to uh, get to know your peers and get to know other graduate students. Every week we'll get together at the end of the week to kind of um, relax and um, get ready for the weekend. And then we also do things like bonfires and uh, really, really get to know each other. UCSC has plenty of opportunities for graduate students to come together. Um, there is the GSA, which is the political body, the Graduate Student Association, and then there's also a social version of that body, the Graduate Student Commons. So there's, those are just two examples, but in just those two, you can get out of the comfort zone of your department and meet other students. I mainly decided to come to Santa Cruz because, so one, doing uh, fluid dynamics is where my interest was. I really wanted to do something in that area. Um, I didn't know exactly what, and um, it seemed like there was a lot of opportunities here to explore different areas of fluid dynamics. Looking at the research that was available, it seemed like the department spanned a lot of fields. And so since I didn't know what I wanted to do, I thought that was my best bet to not maybe apply to a program that was specific in one area but more general in in all areas so that's why I decided in Santa Cruz when I came to visit Santa Cruz what really attracted me to the location um, is uh, the just the geography around the school is really gorgeous there's beaches and also mountains with redwood trees and a lot of wildlife apart from the academic aspects of UC Santa Cruz and the Applied Math Department. Um, I really like the location that we're in, being in the Monterey Bay 
Um, there's a lot of really cool uh, outdoorsy things to do. Where, you know, we have the ocean right in front of us, and then right behind us there's the mountains where there's lots of uh, opportunities to go hiking, backpacking, mountain biking, climbing. I also really like the fact that the campus is located in a forest. Um, so in the middle of the day when I'm feeling burnt out, I can just go take a nice walk through the woods to reset myself um, before I finish up what I'm doing for the day. One thing that I like to do is to go out in the woods and go and explore. And when you explore enough, you can find a banana slug. <laughs> banana slugs? Um, banana slugs. Yeah. <laughs>